everyone managed to take enough rest on Sunday yesterday so that you have you are like you have fresh mind for to this week okay all right so i can see the number the number is still low so let's start with the announcements i think you guys have been shared with the folder for this week if you haven't please to let us know but we have already shared with you the folder for week two also the schedule is there so another thing that i want to emphasize is you have been some people have been receiving the the emails on the attendance so we expect that someone at least ha has to attend four stand-ups out of five of the week. If you can manage all five, that's excellent. Also, we want people to be present on tutorials. Unless you have some reason, you know, we understand there are, might be some challenges. But for the stand-up, even though you might be having the power issues, it's always essential for probably save some some power in your phone so that you can attend stand up because the stand up is where you can learn from your colleagues and also share some challenges with the group so please let us uh, communicate to the slack and let others join so let me hear from someone from 10 academy if we have any other announcement we can share with the trainees Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are good. Uh, my announcement, uh, please be reminded that we're going to have a hot seat at the end of this uh, session. So it's just going to be 10 minutes. So guys, you can be ready with your hot questions. You want to be having a hot seat today. Hope you saw that uh, I have already announced uh, in the community uh, uh, channel. So guys, be ready with the question. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Emilia. Any other announcement from tutors? Or oh, Abdullah? Okay, seems like no other announcements, guys. So we are going to start our stand up as usual. So on Monday. So it, it will be not usual for the next week as we have to announce it we haven't announced it for this week but be reminded that starting from next monday next week so we will be having people presentations so people will be presenting uh, their work we'll be picking a few people to present their work so that other other people can learn from what they did they can also ask their question their questions on their approaches they took towards the challenges so for this week, we haven't figured out and we will be figuring out this week and also letting you guys know. So let's start um, with some people who are volunteering to share how the, their week overall was. How do they manage to, to, to complete the challenge and also any other broker they can share with us. So let's have people. Uh, volunteering to speak first then we can call up names when needed okay the gaga good morning everyone uh morning. i am glad to be here for the second weekend so for the second week uh week one was very nice uh even though there are many challenges that we that i am um, thinking of to improve for this week, especially uh, I, rather than rushing into writing course or uh, uh, doing the code stuff, uh, I think I should first uh, understand the challenges that's provided. I should read the document carefully. Then after I understand the business uh, that's provided, 
I should then go back to the coding or, or doing the project. That was the thing I decided to change for this week. Uh, and overall, it was very nice. I've learned uh, many new things. Uh, and I'm also excited for this week. Thank you. All right, thanks, Degaga. So did you have a chance to take the time um, contest like the the data structure uh, and algorithm contest yeah that, that was also a challenge for me because i i didn't manage i didn't manage to work on the contest uh, for this week i'm also planning to engage in that so that's it what was the broker? You didn't open at it all, or maybe you opened it and probably you had some other challenges? Uh, could you repeat the question? What was the challenge to not participate into the contest? Okay. Uh, the challenge was I was not uh, that much familiar with the platform, which is Hacker Rank. Uh, I was just uh, struggling to get familiar with the hacker rank, and I I didn't also get uh, time to fully understand the platform and they work on the on the challenge. That was the challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Degaga. I hope this week you will be familiar. We we have. Um people like Yudidia and other tutors. Yeah, I hope they are on the call as well. They can support you or any other person with the same um, challenge so that for this week you will be well prepared. And we understand that it was the first trial and it was the first time taking this in this batch. But I guess you guys will be really familiar with it and in other weeks that are coming. So, Adijat, so tell us what's your update and also feel free to share the feedback on the time of the contest. Uh, good morning, guys. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, get a chance to attempt the time. I didn't know it was timed. So I saw it, I'm like, okay, let me finish it. Mm -hmm. and, and when I go to Akarank, I see that, I saw that, uh, uh it has been blocked but uh, mm -hmm. whatever I will be awarded not for it so, so I, I plan to, to improve on that this week um, my major issue this week is more about uh, system creating a system for managing my tasks so I, I'm not there yet I'm not there yet so. Now what I'm trying to do is uh, read everything in the morning, every every damn thing I need to read, I need to know about, about and then start coding uh, at 2 p.m. UTC. So I hope that works. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll, I'll, I'll have to uh, I have to adjust the system. But I really I really really need one system that works, honestly. So, okay. but the week has been interesting. Has been interesting and enlightening. Perfect. So, did you get a that chance to go through the, the this week challenge? Thanks. Did you get a chance yes, to go yes, through the week challenge? The, yes, I'm at the reference now. I didn't know it was sent yesterday or this week. But I'm at the reference now. I'm still going for it. So I just I'll read, I'll read the necessary ones and then message my group. Or I've already messaged my group members, and they will, will start okay. something on it. All right. Thanks. We we also have a chance to go through the introduction to challenge after this stand up. So there is no worry. The reason why we share the the challenge. Uh, in the evening on Sundays, of course, you guys, we want you to work, but also take Sunday as a rest. So, so we want, we don't want you to probably use your Sunday on coding or so, you know, working on your challenges. So that's why we don't share it 
uh, of course, in a daytime. So that's why we share it in the evening. Yeah, so that you can, of course, wake up seeing the document. So that's much safe than, of course, overloading your, your weekend. Maybe. Thanks, Adijat. All right, thank you. Natanu. Uh, hello, everyone. It's Impinam. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Um, so I just wanted to share that um, uh, last week was also challenging for me because I struggled to finish all the tasks that were required. Uh, I think this week uh, I'm starting to learn how to manage my time better uh, because in the beginning of the week it's a bit relaxed and then uh, we have more work to do. So it's better to to start to working on uh, everything from the, from the start, I think. Um, yeah, that's it for me. I'm just hoping that uh, this week I will be able to do better than last week. Okay, thanks, Antinan. Did you also, did you manage to attend the contest? Ah, uh, the time contest. Yes, I I managed to. Um, I finished one of the two tests with uh, in time. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> Okay, it was fun. Any other feedback you can provide so that, you know, feedback regarding the time contest can be the way it's structured, can be maybe other improvements that we can make? Uh, I I'm, I really don't have anything on mind to, to give other feedback. I just, uh, it was a bit, uh, because I had to familiarize myself with the, with the, with the platform in the beginning, so... I wasn't paying okay. attention for, to the time, uh, so I didn't manage to finish everything in time. But uh, otherwise, I think next time I will be fine. It will be there will be other time contest, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I I I guess the complexity level was easy. Did you find it easy too? Uh. It, it wasn't super easy for me because uh, I, I'm a bit uh, rusty on the SQL, so, mm -hmm. but it was, I, I, it was fun because I, I needed to think uh, or try to remember what I learned before, so, I, yeah, so it wasn't super easy, it wasn't very hard at the same time for me. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Etienne. Can we hear from Janerous? Uh, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, last week was, uh, it was a lot, but I was able to do some tasks and submit in time. I also enjoyed the careers exercises. I was able to connect with my peer mentor. And um, yeah, overall, I think I've learned some things, especially with... Um, being fast with my coding. The timed test on Friday was also challenging, but I was able to do the SQL and the Python is on that let me down, my Python code. Yeah. Okay, um, thanks. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, glad you managed to, to deal with SQL part. But yeah, this is the thing that as, as long as we have started the array, you need you see that you can get familiar with it and also it's a platform that can help you develop your coding skills so that you know you will probably need face some challenges or like when you start applying for the jobs so we want you to get there by being ready so you don't really find it like a new thing to you because you also need to be practicing your and improving your python coding skills and also SQL skills. Yeah, um, yeah. I hope you guys will be, you know, getting familiar and also improved. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Let's hear from Natania. Okay. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Hi, Natania. Uh, yeah. Uh, generally, uh, week one was very interesting. Uh, it was also challenging. We have learned a lot of things.
Nathaniel, uh, just speaking. Or very challenging. Is it a problem from my end? Hello. When you were break breaking. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, now, yeah, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello, can you? Please go ahead. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was saying uh, last week's uh, challenge was uh, a bit difficult so when I tried to find an entry-level jobs. Uh, and uh, time about the timed contest, uh, it's not so difficult, but uh, I wasn't so clear about the instructions. I was trying to, you know, I was trying to write one SQL query that uh, performs a task, but the easy answer was to write two queries. I didn't quite get that. Uh, uh, apart from that, everything was so good and clear. Okay. Um, that's a feedback. Maybe yeah. we have someone on the tutoring team. They can note it down, probably. Also, you can feel free to write to them. For example, you can write to Yididia or write it to the group. It's always important to send um, a message on to the channel so that others can also benefit from your request, your your suggestions, your you know your challenges as well, your solutions. Okay. All right. So how, how about the non-technical exercise? How did you sit, find it? Did you manage to submit it too? Yes, uh, I submitted all the non-technical exercises, but as I have told you earlier, finding an entry-level jobs, uh, according to my experience, it was a bit challenging. Okay. Mm, but did you manage to find some? Yeah, yes, of course. All right, thank you, Nathaniel. Okay, thank you. Let's hear from Hi, Michael. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Good morning, we can hear you, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, last week was a good week for me. Uh, I work on all the technical and non-technical parts but uh, the technical part was uh, somewhat challenging uh, it took me almost all of my time to understand the problem and to solve those problems mm, and then the technical part was fun uh, because uh, I enjoyed uh, then uh, I enjoyed the meeting uh, with my peer and uh, I enjoyed the job finding assignment. Uh, uh, generally, the last week was a, week, a good week and I also managed to uh, attend on the contest. Uh, the contest, the Python part was good for me because uh, I had uh, a little experience uh, in the HackerBank platform, so uh, I I managed to work on the Python, but uh, the SQL was a little bit challenging, uh, uh, and I know my weakness, so I have to strengthen my knowledge in, in the SQL, SQL part, and as a feedback, uh, uh, hacker rank is a good tool, but uh, there are other tools uh, that are good for problem solving. For example, lead code. Uh, lead code yeah. can tell can tell the performance of our code, uh, like the time, the compilation time, the uh, the memory usage, uh, and that compares our code with other people, and uh, that tells us where we stand. Uh, and I think uh, it would be good if uh, the Ten Academy team uh, visit the LeetCode platform. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks very much to Hi Michael. So maybe we have someone from tutoring team on the call. They have something to say on this.
if we also consider it elite code, or we'll be moving with Hakarak and or any other take they can share with us, maybe Anastasia or Yedidia for the suggestion. Um. So for the contest, uh, hello everyone, I hope you can hear me. For the contest, we'll be using Hacker Rank, but uh, the challenge, they're just like lit code. So after after doing that, the contest with Hacker Rank, you could just personally explore lit code, but for the contest, we'll focus on Hacker Rank. All right, thanks Anastasia. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all, always, about, uh, about exploring other platforms, but you know, the structures and also the format, sometimes they are, they are quite the same, but they can differ from, you know, how people perceive it or how people like it. So I guess you can do, uh, explore, uh, read code on personally, but the contest will be on Hakarak. That's what they have already chosen. So you can get familiar with it. So let's hear from B2 Khan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, last week was uh, both productive and uh, also a bit challenging for me. Uh, in ways, I did uh, manage to submit my all assignments. And uh, from week zero, I saw a uh, noticeable uh, progress uh, on myself in understanding ideas, exploring and working with uh, the source data we got. And uh, week one was much better than uh, week zero for me. And uh, we'll keep up improving myself for this week and uh, to perform better than last week. And uh, on the timed contest, uh, it was great and it makes me eager uh, to have uh, challenges like this and I did manage to uh, work the, on the first challenge but uh, the second challenge takes me a minute for me but finally my code worked and matched the test code and I was glad it worked and that's it from my side. Can you hear me? Sorry, sorry, I was I was muted. So, thanks for sharing, Petukan. And glad to hear that week one was Thank better you. than week zero. And and thanks for the effort you shared with us. So, I hope you will be practicing um, on your own on, on Hakarak so that when it comes on Friday you have probably something that you have already gained and so that the contest can be easy on your end. So, okay. Let's hear from okay. Jonas. Okay, hello everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, good morning. Hello everyone, can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. Uh, happy to you from uh, the week break to a second week of work, everyone. And th the last week was also one of uh, the best and hardest week I have ever had. It seems that it was not only training, but it it, it also like a real uh, job. Although uh, I don't think I have got the result and work I'm looking for, I'm sure I will have a great experience in the future and the weeks to come. Uh, the, the last context, context of challenge was also very uh, nice, even if I didn't manage well because of others, uh, any plus uh, editors of SQL does it need uh, semi uh, semi after a statement, but in a uh, uh, the, the given platform it, it needs in hacker rank. Uh, I didn't want to observe uh, the, the semicolon really needed. Uh, so in order to solve the challenge without writing the semicolon, uh, took a lot of uh, my time, but it, it was uh, nice and I'll be ready also for the next one. Uh, 
uh, today I've been reading uh, this week's challenge and trying to understand what tax what task will have and what is required. Uh, besides that, in the last week, uh, non technical uh, career, especially on the mentorship, uh, I, I couldn't able to get my uh, given partner. So uh, from the uh, from the team, uh, they insisted they insisted to uh, get other partner out, out out outside of the training. So in order to uh, pre preparing uh, or getting the partner also was challenging. But I tried to uh, solve and get uh, the problem, and uh, I did submitted the assignment. Uh, within the due date. That's all. Thank you. Thanks, Jonas. Uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it is, it's quite uh, very soon to probably see the result you're looking for. But as I'm sure that as the days go on, you will probably see the improvement and also see you see that you're headed to where you're supposed to be. That's where where being job ready for global level jobs. So it needs you just being there, putting effort, and also rely on the community. Be active. Yeah, as long as you're there, attending tutorials and also completing the assignments on time so you can receive feedback from tutors. So you will get there. So I can see Yabeba has something to say. Yeah, hi guys. Hi, Everest. Uh, no, I... I... It's good to hear everyone doing well and i think you know the point of hackerank and similar is to prepare you for what the kind of whenever you go to job interviews uh, different countries send you different uh, or different jobs send you different tests and you should be able to, you know there's no excuse you don't do it you don't do it right so this is a way of like learning the different ways you will make mistake and at that day is to avoid those kind of mistakes. Still, there would be some things that you probably haven't expected, but you have eliminated all the kind of, you should read instructions so well, you should be prepared, you should ask in advance what you need to do. So this is like kind of starting from there and you have 12 kind of weeks to try it, but you must really pay attention in terms of like, you know, every day or every week you must be improving right so everest maybe if you could mute there is a background noise here um and so so that's just a point and if you are doing the same mistake next week then ask yourself you know why maybe you didn't ask maybe you didn't understand the point maybe maybe that you didn't read the instructions maybe you know all of that and different of course there are you know, different uh, technologies or services that our people use. And one of them is, of course, Akrang, you know, Test Godzilla, uh, Code Leads, uh, you know, and, and all of them that, you know, there are many. And all of them more or less similar. There would be some things like some have, for example, a way that they would monitor what you're doing. Then they would record the video that when you are doing how often you tried, which mistakes you struggled the most. So it's basically, if, if you are struggling because you didn't read the instruction, that, that even if you solved it, you know, people might, might pay attention on that, right? So it's just always pay attention, read, and you have to be very diligent uh, in those elements and, you know, across the weeks, just improve. And what I want now is like, I is that I want also people every Monday to start talking about what they have done, a very three minute summary a maximum three minutes summary of what they have done the last week. So I would like a few people just now to voluntarily uh, for the coming weeks, you would, you would have more information, but I would want somebody voluntarily to be, um, to provide like at least uh, to go through their notebook, what they have done or to go through their report, just so that, you know, we have that every week we, we have that and we'll start this now. So anyone willing to go in like not more than three minutes to go through their work and to show what they have done?
I was expecting, by the way, just lots of hands to raise, just in case you haven't, if you are wondering what I was expecting. Hello. Thanks, Yababa. I think to clarify on that, so it doesn't need to be something you have already prepared. So you just like yeah. simple thing, three minutes, take us. So we have we have one hand. So, yeah. Adiat. Yeah. Adijat. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, this would be like a presentation, right? A very quick one. Yeah, presenting, sharing your your screen, and you just tell us this is what I did. You know. Oh, okay. Just a very brief summary of what you have done. Can you give me a moment to get to my... Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, take time. Okay. Anyone else who's willing to open? It could be from your report. It could be from your Git, GitHub. Anywhere. It could be from your editor. And for all of you, then I would demand, why are you not raising your hand? You have to write, why are you not raising your hand? Just, I think I would be very serious. So you have to do one of them. So either write on the text why you are not doing it or raise your hand. We will not have time to ask everyone, but at least the two are, okay, not nice. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna explain my reason why I'm not uh, uh, presenting my report. Yeah, go on. Uh, okay, uh, we have an uh, electricity issue and there is no light uh, in my home. So I'm, I just joined the meeting using my... Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the explanation. Thanks, Nathan. I mean, I hope that you're typing. Okay. Uh, yes, Sabne. And I hope that everything is okay. But thanks for the explanation. Great, Michael. So, Adiat, when you are ready. Manuel, good to hear yes, Sabna, that better today. Manuel, thanks for the explanation. I hope everyone is typing their reason or they get tired of typing and then they say like, I'm gonna explain. Okay, got it, understand. Okay, Kubazik. Um, I think you can try it, Gideon, if it's just internet connection, because, but up to you. I mean, know that not able to, to talk about your work is just not, not good, right? Unless you have, of course, a good reason beyond your control. I mean, to be frank, you know, you are not here as a, tr a student, you know that. You're here just as a worker. You're just 12 weeks 
kind of crafting your culture you know just just so that we are in the same page you know I, I don't expect I'm not asking a student to do it I'm asking a team member to do it and not finding a team member other than Adiat is just a little bit disappointing so just so that you know it doesn't matter uh, Gide you you don't have to finish you just say what you have finished what you managed to do it's not about like an excellent work that you have to present and everybody's like kind of clapping no this is just research work it's a teamwork and what have you managed to do that's all yeah i think better to share the screen so that we know margaret so if you want to 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 talk just yeah unmute and and, and go on and there are so many people who neither typed their reason nor are presenting i mean i really really hope that you mean that i don't see uh okay adiat or who's hello michael go on uh, hello C can you hear me do. hello yes we do hi let me okay uh I am on my phone, but let me share my, my screen from GitHub and yeah. uh, let me explain it. But uh, I didn't finish all the tasks, but uh, let me explain. You the don't problems. have also that much time to explain everything. I will. Okay. It's okay. only just small time and I want you just to describe what you managed to do and everyone. I want everyone to see. Okay. okay. Go on. Yeah. Okay. C can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, uh, there are uh, some folders uh, I created uh, for the project. For example, uh, there is a data folder, which is I put the data set on, uh, but I didn't push all the data sets to the GitHub because, uh, because uh, the size of the data is too large. And uh, the models folder is for uh, uh, for the saving of uh, the models uh, I trained on machine learning, and uh, the notebooks part is for uh, the notebooks the code uh, I put on the notebooks, like the visualization part and all the tasks, uh, and the, the scripts part is for. Uh, for course, uh, I use them frequently uh, to make reusable. I put them uh, on the scripts, uh, and uh, there's a test part. I try to uh, to to increase the, the test coverage, uh, the the test coverage of for the scripts, and uh, it's about eighty percent of the, the code is tested well. Uh, and uh, there is a UI part. The UI is uh, for the, the dashboard. And in the notebooks, uh, uh, there is a data cleaning, uh, which is uh, I do data cleaning like uh, replacing missing values, handling out layers, and uh, other uh, data preprocessing things. Uh, and uh, I think. And uh, there is also uh, I, I created uh, I created a notebooks for uh, each task. For example, I, I create uh, a user engagement notebook, a user experience notebook, and uh, for all tasks. Uh, for example, let's let's see from uh, okay the user overview analysis. Uh, Okay, uh, I load it from my screen, so uh, that's why. Mm -hmm. 
that's why uh, the screen size is so small. So uh, in the uh, user overview analysis, uh, I created, uh, I wrote a code for uh, top 10 handsets uh, used by the customers and uh, I also draw a graph for that. Uh, and uh, and like I tried to solve all the tasks, uh, all the tasks given in the task one. Uh, Great, and just, I, just out of pure time and thank you really for not only presenting but for take, you know, demonstrating that it doesn't matter the reason. If you want to present, you will present and it doesn't matter whether you are in mobile. And I think just never learn how to excuse as well. Just, I think this is, if you know it in a companies, it's like when you want to do, you, you will do it. It's up to you um, in some way. So even if some of the reasons are, uh, of course, valid, including that you are in a mobile, you, you can't share, but this is the demonstration that you can if you want. And it's okay. Again, really thank you, Haile Mikhail, for demonstrating that. Uh, and Adiat, and then we'll go directly to, uh, and also those who raised your hands, thank you so much. It is about respecting yourself more than, you know, my order. I'm not ordering you. I don't have any authority on that. And all of you who raised your hands to present, thank you. Um, but it's just, you know, you have to make sure that why you are here is not to listen, nor it's to participate and active. It's, you are a team member. And as a team member, if you are behind, ultimately, you know, it's, it's not good. So Adiat, and then we'll go to the hot seat. And, and thanks everyone. As I said, we don't have time as much. I just wanted you to really raise, especially if, you know, uh, that's, that's good. Adiat, and then we go to the hot seat. Thanks. Adiat, your screen, you were presenting, and then it went away. Hi, guys. Uh, sorry, I had an authentication issue with the uh, probe access in my screen, and so I have to resolve that. Uh, hmm. Can you see my screen? Can you see my... Yes, so, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I did was, um, I made a mistake of not reading everything that needs to be, uh, everything on the challenge. And start, I saw that uh, we are only have to submit task one. So I rushed to start making, uh, making my, my notebooks. Sorry, I want to go back to my notebook so that I can present my. So I just went straight to making my notebooks, the data cleaning. And while cleaning data, I removed some some very important part of the data or part of the columns simply because they were missing so many. So I have to come back here. That is the head of the data, uh, the types. <clears throat> So I view the head of the description that was in that was in Excel format. So I removed TCP, all the TCP associated columns. So that drags me back. So when I get when I read that when I read ahead and I, I realized that uh, I have to those those columns are very important. So I have to go back and and add them back. So this is where I came back to add them. And my functions are still in my notebook. So though they are also in the they are also in the file where we can call them. Uh, but uh, when it doesn't work, I find it hard going from the file and coming back here. So I, I feel like okay, I'll write it here first and then put it in the file later. So in the end I get uh uh a little uh, some like 200,000 over 19,000 over 19,000 rows. I think I think it's one 18,000 or so. 
uh, that was it for data cleaning and transforming data to data. So I had to <coughs> overview, the overview analysis. At first, I combined the data cleaning with the overview, then I had to split it again, uh, thinking that that kind of in, in the interest of time, yeah. Adiat. In the interest of time, what ma what have you managed to do at the end? With um, so, how much of it I managed you able to complete? Some some research mm -hmm. analysis for the overview. I di I didn't get to the engagement analysis, and I didn't get to. I was still uh, on a course uh, teaching about how to make a model when it was around five p.m. on Saturday. So I had to submit. Because I okay. have to wait. It's good. It's, it's good that it's a mid, but next time really strategize because that is, you know, you have to always every week you have to be able to increase it that at some point you should be able to complete everything uh, on time. Yes. But thanks for for um, presenting and we'll, we'll be linked. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone, and I am back to the person who's managing the hot seat. All right, thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. Yeah, so uh, let's start our hot seat. So we just let one minute. So, uh, without further ado, let's welcome our hot seat of today. Hope she's ready. Please, Wangui, open your video and your mic and you know, present yourself here. So, we start. Thank you. So, uh, the hot seat, please. Uh, hello. <coughs> Hi, I uh, would love if maybe you can uh, just open your, your video. We need to see you. Amazing, amazing. So this is our hot seat, ladies and gentlemen. Let me present to you Wangui. She's from Kenya. So guys, hope you've prepared your hot questions, your really hot questions. Right, so um i would love some people to raise up your hand if you're ready with a question already so just raise up your hand and then i'll be mentioning your name but before we do that uh the host can say something before maybe we make the seat so hot what do you have to say what do you have to tell people here um be gentle <laughs> yeah amazing amazing thank you so uh we have the first person here a digit please what's your question hi wangui good morning yeah, uh, please what, what's the meaning of your name wangui um i was told it means a singer someone who sings a lot and my grandmother yeah Ooh. Okay. That makes you very human. <laughs> okay. Uh, my other question is, um, would you rather be able to speak to animals or have the ability to speak 10 languages fluently? Animals. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Why is that? All right. I think the animals everywhere more than the like yeah. if you can speak to animals i think you can get by a lot more than if you just know 10 languages because there's no place there are no animals mm -hmm. okay so, thank you thank you for the answer let's make the uh, the seats your host so guys if you have a question please raise up your, raise up your hand I would love maybe if you guys you can speak more than uh, typing the chat box. Maybe if you have um, microphone issues, that would be fine. I can read your question. But if you have a question, just raise up your hand. Then I will mention your name and you ask. So we have Margaret. And please make it quick. Make it quick. Just ask your question straight. Then uh, we move on because we don't have much time. Yes, Margaret. Hi. So my question is. What is the one aha moment you've had with the academy? Like, ah, uh, so this is how this works. So I can't write. Yeah, you Um, what is? Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, but maybe if you could move your mic a bit. Um, what is? 
Is that better? Yeah, a bit, yeah. Um, what is the one aha moment you've had at Ten Academy? Like, ah, so this is how this thing works. Um, planning, I think, is the aha moment <laughs> I had yesterday because I was sitting and I was thinking about all the things that I did and the things I didn't do. Um, so yeah, uh, like Adijat has had mentioned, uh, just reading the whole thing first because I also made that mistake. I didn't read the whole document um, at first. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was sitting and I was looking at the things that I could have done and I think planning <laughs> and giving yourself time to do the things you've planned and also just because it's a plan you move on. I think that was like the aha moment. Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's try to move questions so quick. So we have Ajit, please. You have just 10 seconds to ask your question. Let's make it so quick. All right. Thanks. Hi, Wangui. So my question is uh, for someone who's never been in your country, your hometown, what is the most interesting thing that you like to tell us about? Just uh, in case we want to visit your place or visit you. Thanks. Um, probably, um, what I really like is like when you go to a uh, school or whatever, there's always food by the roadside. It's amazing. You should try it. Um, okay. especially there's this thing called like, um, it's like a smoky, uh, and sometimes it has, it comes with a chapati. Sometimes with us, some um, like or the chapati with a samosa, like or just chips. It's it's really nice. I thought we'd say kiberi. I thought we'd mention kiberi. We have Johannes. Johannes, you can try kiberi if you can. <laughs> That's not what I recommend. <laughs> I love kiberi. Johannes, please your question. You have okay. Question. How are you, Wangaru? Uh, my, my question is uh, very simple and clear. Uh, if you could travel to any year in a time machine, what year would you choose and why? You understand me? Uh, yeah, like the year, right? Like in the past or yeah. also in the future? It, it, it might be better if you explain about the past. Um... Honestly, I'm not. Hmm. Mortality wise, like my chances of being alive and staying alive, I think I'd stay here. Yeah. <laughs> chances are not great for survival to find the past. Um, but maybe 1999, just to see like the dot com bubble, because. Um, like reading about it, I think everyone thought the world was going to end. If I was okay. older in 1999, I think that would be cool. Okay, I uh, question in the chat box. Uh, what's, what have you thought of today, right at the moment you get up? Uh, so my sister called me when I woke up today and then I thought she was annoying me. So that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Is there anything uh, in your life you would change? Um, generally, I don't think so. Maybe if you're more specific. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? Like, what area? Like, anything. Like, we can choose. Uh, I'd like to have a lot more money, financial stability. <laughs> That'd right. be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I think maybe uh, our time is over. But if there's anyone else who have a question here, please you can get this chance as we're ending the, the party today because we just had less uh, minutes. Are you married? How old are you? How was your ten academy training? Can you just answer that so quick? Um. 
I'm not married. Uh, so far at an academy, the training is intense, um, but I'm learning new things every day. What was the last question? Uh, if you're married, like, okay, I can read it again. Are you married? How old are you? Oh, I'm 25. Okay. Uh, Birhanun, do you have a quick question? Yes, As I want you. Hello. Okay. Uh, yes. Hi. 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 Uh, what is your biggest fear and uh, hope? Your biggest fear? Yeah. Um, spiders and slugs and seaweed. I, I don't like them. Is that what you meant? What is your biggest fear or okay. biggest fear? Uh, I am really afraid of spiders and slugs and I don't like seaweed. All right, as we're ending, as we're ending, uh, there's a whole question here. Did, uh, have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? No. Okay, do you cover your eyes during a scary part of a movie? Yeah, actually I just walk out of the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what are the some things you think about when sitting on the toilet? That's the last question then I was ending up. Mm, probably the book I'm reading. The book you're reading. All right, thank you very, uh, thank you very much, guys. So let's end up the hot seat of today. So tomorrow we're going, we're going to have another one. Hope you guys are going to be having a hot questions. So before we end up, how are you feeling? Anyway? I'm feeling okay. It's not as bad as I thought. So, okay. Yeah. So, can we have someone maybe uh, who can say what did you manage to learn about Ongui? Like, what's the lesson? What did you manage to learn about her? Anyone? Okay. If there's no one, I would love to end up our session today. So, let me ask someone from Kenya Academy to stop recording and as we are getting ready for the next question. Thank you very much, guys. So, let's wait tomorrow's hot seat.